Good morning. I am beaming me, my way to you from uh, a beautiful beach on the other side of the hill from Ohopi Beach. And I can't remember the name of it, but it's such an amazing spot. But I'm just in the shade at the moment so that this video is clear. But honestly, it's just the most pristine, beautiful day anyone would think it was summer. I wish I had shorts and a t-shirt on, not leggings and a long sleeve top. But anyway, it's beautiful and I'm just so grateful for such a gorgeous day. And as I was going for my walk, initially I was only going to um, do a beach walk and I knew of this walk over the hill to this other little uh, secluded spot. Um, and it's like, oh, I'm not really fit, my fitness is gone and it's going to be a big effort and it's like I can't be bothered and it's like, Paula, it's a gorgeous day, you need to start getting fit again, go for the walk over the hill. So I did, and I'm so pleased I did, and I made the change within myself to start, yeah, taking care of myself a little bit more. Uh, winter is a time for me of hibernation, I don't do winter well, um, and I'm like a bear. I go into hibernation and I hunker down and I hate the cold, but when it's a gorgeous, beautiful day like it is today, it's just stunning. Um, I've got to get out in the sunshine so um, yeah I'm a real sunshine and blue sky beach girl so this is my top type of day but I was thinking you know um, with the, the book coming out at the end of October change is not a scary word you know we, we are talking about all us authors the 10 authors that are in the book are talking about massive change and change doesn't have to be massive it can be just taking that tiny little step to Put yourself first and start exercising more or slowly changing your eating habits or for me like I, I need a lot of change in my life and so my lifestyle that I've now got of house sitting is perfect because I come to so many different places I'm in a different house I'm you know meeting gorgeous different pussycats with their own little personalities and I thrive on that, I thrive on that change. Now, that's not huge, massive, life-changing stuff. It's just having a change of scenery. And for me, that's something that my soul craves and that I really love. So, yeah, I'll just put that out there to you. Like, you know, could you do a day trip somewhere different? Um, could you maybe, you know, go, go away for a weekend or... Just go somewhere different that you haven't been before. Um, go to the movies. You know, like, I love movies because it actually, it takes you out of your current reality, puts you into another reality for a couple of hours, um, and it's just having that change, that change of scenery. And, and for me, I can only talk from my experience, is having those little snippets of change just help... Um, uplift you and you know if life's not necessarily going exactly how you want it right now um, just doing those simple little things can just uplift you enough to get you through the day um, until tomorrow and then you know you do it all again so you know change doesn't have to be this massive life-changing journey um, it can just be tiny little snippets and little steps so I invite you to do that so jump in the car go somewhere different that you haven't been before, um, go to the movies for the afternoon, but if honestly if it's a beautiful day like this, get out in nature, you know, um, nature and blue sky and sunshine, for me that's my soul juice, so hope you find yours, have an awesome day, bye for now.